You're on. There you go. Take that, put that there. And it. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. My name's Dan. Uh, I'm not really from Amy Rose Wreath and Crafts. Yes, you but are. I'm usually the guy behind the camera when she's uh, doing stuff. So. Um, <clears throat> I won't say by popular demand, but I will say because uh, Amy Rose told me so. Don't worry about it. I'm going to be making a wreath today. So, uh, let's see. How does she do this? <laughs> hey, howdy, hey, everybody. Come on in. Welcome, welcome. I hope everybody's having a wonderful Sunday. Uh, when you come in, tell us where you're from, what the weather's like. And, um, yeah, so we're going to have a great time today. How is everyone? Hi, guys. Hi, Mary. Hi, CD. I can't do this. This is why I have the laptop, so that way you can say hello to everybody. Hello. Hello. Here, I'll do I'll pretend. Hi, Susan. Hi, Elaine. Hello. hello, Susan. Hello, Elaine. I'm not even looking at the camera. <laughs> Janet says hello. Ooh. Janet, she says, hi, Dan. Looking good. Nah. I look. I'm recovering from my quarantine head shave. You guys didn't see me, but I seriously, no joke, looked like uh, Gru or uh, Private Pile from uh, Full Metal Jacket. Uh, guys, yeah. do him a favor and force push him out, please. Yeah, so I don't ever do this again. Go ahead and force push him out, guys. You have to, you have to raise the window up if you want the cat to not destroy. Yes, them. I know, Danny. You see, this is what I have to deal with. Hello, hello, hello. Come on in. Force push him out, guys. Everybody needs to see him making a sunflower wreath on the Unique in the Creek small flower board. Small flower board. And I'll be getting, I'm sure. No... Yes, Janet's second time. Nice to see you. See oh. the man behind the voice. Don't touch the table. The man behind the voice? Or the man behind the thing. Don't touch the table. You're shaking it. I, I know what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> I usually direct these things. I'm I'm hands usually. Now I'm, I'm directing. Hi <laughs> so, Tina. Uh, Hi thought, Georgiana. I thought so. Just before I came on the live, I used to like to, I usually like to tell a little story um, when I go on the. Sandra air. Easterby's here. Oh, that's my girlfriend. <laughs> um, before so when I was on the radio, I always used to like to tell a story when I would uh, when I would go live and everything. So uh, what I thought we'd do is we'd start this off with a sing-along. And uh, right before we came on, I was listening to Billy Joel. Oh, yay. So uh, what we're gonna do is just a real quick sing-along of the first verse of Piano Man. So I want everybody to sing with me, wherever you are, no matter what the weather is. Are you ready? It's five o'clock on a Saturday. The usual crowd shuffles in. There's an old man in the corner making love <laughs> to his tonic and gin. Okay, here we go. You guys ready? He says, son, can you play me a memory? I'm not really sure how it goes. Hi, Cookie. Hi, Debbie. But it's sad and it's sweet and I knew it complete when I wore a younger man's clothes. And you guys can keep going with the la da 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 And we're done. And we don't own rhymes to the music. Hey, Cookie! Bravo for everybody who sang along. Good job, guys! Yeah! You're getting lots of hearts, bro. Okay, <clears throat> so uh, what I'm going to be doing today is now making... Get it, now get to it, boy. Woo! <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Tough room. So uh, I'm just going to be making a uh, a sunflower wreath that, that should be able to be um, kind of a first project, I think. Um, I've already loaded up the board, um, and Amy was kind enough to cut all of the mesh that I'm going to need, and we'll show that off in just a second here uh, as we move the camera. So... Uh, for those of you who get motion sick, in three, two, and one. Moving it on, guys. <clears throat> Let me put the light on. Boop, pink. All right. So we're using this. I'm from Long Island. Hello, hello. I need my laptop. Hey, I'm from Long Island. I'm walking here. <laughs> All right. 
Um, for those of you who are new, anytime we get somebody from a different part of the world or the diff a different part of the USA, uh, I always do uh, an imitation of their accents. And they're always the same. So it doesn't really matter where you're from. You're going to get, hey, I'm walking here. So um, this is the small flower board from Unique in the Creek. Um, it is branded on the back. <laughs> Michelle, he is a little bit nervous, yes. Uh, as you can see, I've preloaded all of the holes. Um, row one, row two, row three. Oh, Sherry. And then row four. I have actually done shared holes because I want the middle to be a little bit James fuller. Irish, laugh out loud. Irish. Um. <laughs> she said she wishes. Hold on, I gotta get back. Uh, Sherry says she was. She wishes her her husband was just like you. Oh. <laughs> so um, at any rate, uh, it looks a mess now because I've done. I've already cinched up some of these. Some of these I've not. Just so you can see how. It, it's not hard to keep track of these, especially if you're new at this or if you're scared of doing this. You can keep track of this absolute just spaghetti that threw up all over the board. So it's no problem. Tips from Dan, that's right. <clears throat> all right. So um, let's get started. And what I've got here is I have oh, I forgot to... some really beautiful, nice springtime fabric. Um, I know it's fabric mesh. It's fabric mesh. It's slightly iridescent and almost looks dewy. It doesn't look... You can't really see it on the camera. Um, but the mesh is so shiny, it looks like um, dew drops on a petal in the morning. Which is appropriate because we're going to be making... We're going to be making a sunflower. Um, and I'm going to alternate this bright, beautiful yellow with this slightly darker, um, kind of an orangish... Still, we have some iridescence in here, so you're not going to lose any of that, that dew effect. So I'm going for kind of a morning flower open sort of thing. And we're going to alternate. So each one of these is going to have, we're going to have a yellow, uh, an orange, a yellow, an orange, a yellow, an orange, blah, 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 all the way around. Anyway, all right, let's get started. <clears throat> whoop, whoop. So. Go, Dan. Go, Dan. These are, uh, this was cut from a 10-inch mesh. It is heat sealed. Um, and Amy actually took care of that for me. Thank you, Amy. You're welcome. You are wonderful for doing it. And you can see we have a surged edge and we have a rough edge. The rough edge doesn't matter. Don't worry about these little hanger doodles. If they bother you, cut them off. It's not a big deal. Um, <clears throat> they don't bother me, but what we want hi, is... Hi, Priscilla. We want the curl to be down. Say hi to Priscilla. Hi, Priscilla. So the curl is down and we're going to start in the middle. Just right here, and you can kind of pick a string that roughly divides this in half and just use that. Where are you going, bro? No, no, no. As you're. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, <laughs> <sighs> Thanks, Amy. He's nervous, guys. I'm not, I'm not nervous, it's just, my first, it's just my first time. It is. Um, the, I will tell you, okay, so real quick story. I know I talk fast. I did it on the radio too, but that's because time was at a premium. Because you had to, you had to speak exactly right. For those of you who aren't familiar with working on the radio, you have to speak with the exact right tempo, and the exact right number of words to get to the next commercial break, and it is timed to the half second when it starts, and then all of the music is also timed. And if your music falls short of your commercial break, you got to fill it. So. Amy, how did you get him to do this? So there we go. It was yesterday, Cookie. People decided they voted for him. I still have a little bit of sniffles. So at any rate, you take your square. It's a 10 by 10 inch cut. We're going to turn it to a triangle. We're going to make sure that our surged edges, our clean edges, are on our left and right side, roughly, now that we've got it as a diamond, right? Careful about the table. And then, uh, again, curl down. <clears throat> but we're going to... Thanks, you, Sheila. Do some scrunchification. And that's from, all we're doing. From point to point. If you just stop it. <laughs> okay, point to point. Now, you have two options. Once you get to this point, you can turn it towards you, if you like. Or, you can turn it Whoa, away from you. You are really shaking the table, bro. You do too. Okay. Um, so, I'm going to turn it away from me. It just feels more natural. But, uh, I'm going to make sure that that is... Nice. And what you kind of want is you want 
just sort of these these nice little petal folds that end up looking like petals. Then, and since this is so, you know, it's it's kind of a very uh, sort of starter wreath. We're gonna go ahead and just pick a hole because it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna cinch this on down. And I've already made a mistake, and I'll tell you what that mistake is here in a sec. What I didn't do was make sure that my points were even, but I got lucky this time. Hi, so. CD. There we go. That's one. <clears throat> I'm going to try to make this as entertaining as possible. Cookie said not to cry about it. Um, again, surged edges on the left and right. Make a diamond. Then we're going to start a scrunch. Scrunchification. Is that what you said, scrunchification? I said scrunchification. <laughs> That's the new word, guys, scrunchification. Scrunchification. I got my laptop now, guys, so it's going to be easier for me to read comments for him. All right, and I'm going to turn it up. Melanie! Hi, honey! There we go. Say her last name. Hello, Melanie. Uh, Manjaniello. <laughs> Hi, Phyllis. I was so disappointed when I found out Melanie's last name is actually like Mangello. I was like, no. No, no. Phyllis. He's probably going to give the look to me. Hi, Evelyn. <laughs> So now Melody, I'm just going to take this and... Hey, Manangiello's got a lot of work to do. Get off her. Right. She's walking here. She's got some beautiful wreaths. Okay, so I've got this a little too tight, I think. So I'm going to just mm. sort of spread these out. You got advice for me on this one, Amy? What? What'd you do? These leaves look a little too skinny to me. Hold on. Actually, we can work on that later. They're, they're fine. They're overlapping. They are. Just make sure that when you <clears> place it in... He's left-handed, guys, so he's going to be working this way instead of this way. Yeah, just when you place your yellow, you put your yellow on top of your... You're doing good! Okay, cool. Look at him, guys! All right, so there's that. Normally, Amy has all these made up, but I'm relying on my uh, my witty banter to get us through this extremely boring part. Surged edges, it's left and right. It's not boring. We're having fun. Making us some... And you can use your... Oh, wow, look at this. I just figured this out. What? You can use the line on your board here to make it a 90 degree true diamond. There you go. So let's start some scrunchification here. Oh, girl, get that Etsy shop and Pinterest. Whoop, whoop. Er, 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 Isn't er, he doing good, Elaine? Er. Right, Esther? Fold it up. Hi, Jace. Put it back on over. My husband's doing a sunflower wreath on the small flower board. Okay. So. I'm left-handed too. There you go. That's why you're here, his girlfriend, besides Sandra. Cookie? Yes. Yeah, Cookie's left-handed. Mm -hmm. Teresa says, hi, Dan. Who, Oliveris? Teresa Ror Rourke. Rourke. Oh, butchered that name. I did. I'm sorry, Teresa. That's no good. He is faster than me. <laughs> Hi, Dolores. Dolores Montez is on here. Dolores, Oh, look. Dolores. Dan is Hello. making a wreath. <laughs> Dolores and I worked together for many, many years at the company which we work for uh, in the same department. Melissa, welcome. She is a newbie from Newbor, from Indiana. Newbor, Indiana. Hello and welcome. Whereabouts is Newbor, Indiana? Who's so smart? I am proud, Esther. You have no idea. I need to know where Newborn, Indiana is. Oh, I know there's a, there's Elaine a says I'll buy it. His first masterpiece. My first masterpiece. Lori Franklin is on. Lori, look, he's making his sunflower. <laughs> I've got a. These are bothering me already, so uh, I, I'm gonna have to ignore that for now. Don't bother. It's looking good, honey. I know it's I looking can, really good. Well, I know I can go back and fix it later. Once again, for uh, the new people that Thank are joining. Thank you, Georgiana. He's almost like a natural. I know, right? We're making a sunflower wreath. These are simple 10 by 10 um, poly burlap uh, cuts. No, fabric. Mesh. Mesh, yes. Uh, 10 by 10 fabric mesh uh, cuts. So, uh, and we're taking the 10 by 10 surge to... There, surged sides to the left and right, and we're making a diamond using our 45 degree angle as a guide. 
And now we're going to... Melanie said, look up, Dan. The boss is on the line. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we're simply going to bunch this on up. After we bunched, we fold. About and... three hours from Indianapolis. <laughs> Indianapolis. I can't say that word. From Indy. From Indy, Melissa go. says. Go, Dan, go. You're doing good. Oh, sorry. Let me bring this over. And, guys, I've decided that I am not going to see if the points are even. Because, number one, they're coming out pretty even anyway. But, number two, in nature, flower pebbles are never even. Oh, my God. I'm so proud. Sorry. This just hit me right now. Um, Hi, Peggy from Jacksonville. Hi, Vicky. So, there you go. And, again, we're alternating. Uh our beautiful Cherries from Summerfield, Florida. Bright orange, or sorry, bright yellow. Then our uh, kind of a, a more orange, Lori, yellow, orange, that. yellow. <laughs> Lori says she <laughs> she shared it to everyone. Oh geez. <laughs> <laughs> He's thirsty, guys. I just made a horse for it out of burlap. Oh, pretty, Melissa. I need to see that. So again, curls down just like that. We're gonna press. Line it up with our 45 degree angle. And then <clears throat> there's two ways you can actually bunch this, guys. I prefer to bunch it upwards, but you can certainly bunch it. Um, I don't know if you can see this, so I'm bunching it and kind of pulling it the top towards. But you could also pull your scrunched edges towards the corner, if that makes sense. So instead of pulling the corner towards you, you're pulling your corner towards the other side. So there's really no wrong way to do this. Hi, Dave from sunny Toronto, Canada. Dave from Toronto. Hi. We've got a lot D. of... Not Dave. D. Oh, D. Sorry. <laughs> Hello, D from sunny Toronto. Uh, Laura says you're doing amazing, Dan. So, there we go. I knew you could do this. I Pull knew this it. And I'm trying to go fast, guys. I don't want this to be a two-hour-long live for a small flower board, you know? Yeah, but you're teaching. Ooh, Sorry, he's shaking the table a little. It's okay. And, uh, <clears throat> so there we go. All right, what was that? And now we're back to yellow. I should have pre-made some of these, but I had a little bit of a full morning. Most of it was spent sleeping. <laughs> I still need to figure out how to make a black schnauzer. Oh, yeah, Georgiana, that's right. Hi, Hi Debbie! Tell me the story about the black schnauzer. I want to hear it. She wants to make it on the horse board. Hmm. That would be an interesting challenge because schnauzers have the... Faster. Faster? Have the long fur? Mm -hmm. Honestly, guys, I say it all the time. The, fir the first row on row one... Or on row two for the large flower board, it's 16 zip ties. So that's where it's like, oh my gosh, there's just so many. I'm taking so much time. But you're not. Because once you hit the next rows, you're going to be going like really fast. Oh, thank you, Melanie. Melanie Manjaniello. Lori, are you still at the trailer? Love the two tones. This is going to be striking, says Debbie. Ah, uh, I you know, I honestly Turn can't. It? Turn what, Cherry? The wreath? Oh, yeah, maybe so they, that way they can see what you're doing. This is going to be a little harder for me. I don't, um, <clears throat> I don't work upside down, and I'm left-handed. I didn't really work upside down either. I just well, you that. do, a lot. I, I do, yeah. Whoa. I'm not used to working. Oh, oh I just, there goes the stack. <laughs> I just threw the whole stack away. <laughs> he picked up some uh, ribbon on the way. Hey guys, what do you think of this as a bow on the wreath? You just throw that in there? <laughs> okay, so now we need to go back to the yellow. Just running out of room. You'll start <clears> to, <throat> yeah. Left and right surged edges, 45 degrees. Here, you can always put that up here. Honey, I'll move this stuff for you. So that way you can put the base over here. There you go. Now one thing that I could do is instead of putting it directly onto the board, is I could make my folds and then clip them and set them off to the side. And then I could just 
make all of these mm -hmm. and then throw them right into the zip ties. Um, I didn't prepare very well, so I don't have a lot of, I don't have rubber bands or clothespins, so. The rubber bands are right here if you want to. I'll probably mess it up. No, you'll be fine. Like I said, you think you're, it's moving really slow. Once you get into the inner circles, honey, you're going to be, it's going to go like way stupid crazy fast. Way stupid, crazy fast. Way stupid, crazy fast. Stupid cra hey, I'm walking here. Hey, calm down there, Sparky. <laughs> here we go. And you guys, you know, as much as I hate dead air, and for those of you who've been here before, you know I hate dead air. So, if I'm babbling on too much... Could we use other mesh if we can't find poly burlap? Yes. Absolutely. This is a fabric mesh that he is using. You can also use, um, this is weird being behind the camera because now I can just talk to you guys. You can also use the poly, the deco poly mesh, any mesh That she work. didn't show you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Come on, Reebok, get I, with it. <laughs> like I said, I'm not used to this. Okay, you could also use... Make sure it focuses in on yes, it. Yes, honey. Okay. You could also use this. He is using a fabric mm -hmm. mesh. Yeah, you can use your normal deco mesh. She wanted me to use fabric mesh. This is no word of a lie for you Canadians. Because it was cheaper, and if I messed it up, she didn't want me to... Oh, screw yeah. up a roll of the poly poly burlap <laughs> true story i sure did i told him you're going to use this because it's not as expensive <laughs> um what am i missing way to go dan you're doing great and i needed this entertainment oh <laughs> well i'm glad you're enjoying it and... reversed rolls is right esther this is i don't know how he does it I've uh, done so a bad job with this one, though, you guys. Piece. Georgiana, wow. Yeah, this is... I've done a really bad job with that particular... I gotta, okay. I gotta figure something out with that. Just fold it this way. It won't go. Oh. I did it the wrong way. Did you? Yeah. Then just cut it... Cut the zip tie off and put another zip tie in. I'm gonna have to. That's how easy this is, guys. You the... Ah. That one. Ow. <laughs> Do you see this abuse? You know what? I don't want that one anymore. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's a zip tie for you. That one made me angry. Wow. <laughs> and also, when I get behind the camera, I sweat a lot. And I had a cup of coffee, so. He is fine. So I got the coffee sweats. Oh, no, you did it right. It's just the way. Well, that one's being a booger then, oh, okay. and I don't it's like it. Okay, being a booger. We're throwing it over to the side, guys. See, I got the coffee shakes, too. He is fine. Yes, they are cut at 10 by 10. No, nope, Lisa, you were just on time. We just started. It's fabric mesh cut at 10 by 10. And um, you can use any mesh, really. We had two colors of this. So I said, why don't you do two-tone? He's just, he kind of looked at me. He's like, oh, okay. <laughs> I said I'd do it. Really, Mary? MC Fresh? Yes, she says I could never get my uh, hubby to make a wreath. I kind of told him, I really did. Last night, I'm like, look, you are getting so many uh, comments about, you know, you should go on, etc. Fix it, I'll flip it up. No, no, at the base. There you go. Ugh, get over there. <laughs> there we go. All right. Georgiana, I heat sealed this. You don't have to because a fray on a sunflower will look really pretty, but um, fabric mesh frays crazy. So that's why I heat sealed. And we're only using this is because this is the one that I have um, two colors on. So we did kind of like a two-tone. So I stopped for a minute to let her do her explanation. Yeah, but you don't have to. You don't have to have two tone. You don't have to have fabric mesh. It could be regular mesh. <clears throat> Amy's the much more experienced of us. You can tell him at CC twenty twenty one. Mary, are you going to Crafters Convention? 
next year? Yeah, MC Fresh. She's Woo coming. Woohoo! Yeah. She said that before. I'm sorry. Like, he's true. Once you're behind the camera, everything is just like. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> It's a different. It's a different world when you're. Oh, I'm didn't. I'm sorry, you guys. You shaking. I shake it, shake it. Shake I didn't it show you how to put that on, but. But you've been anyway. doing it all along, so you're good. Yeah, sorry. All right, I've only got a few more on the outside. Surged edges, 45 degrees. I'm, and here's the mistake that I found that I made before. Whoop, whoop, Mary! I can't wait to meet you. Is that I got a little overconfident, um, especially with the bows when I thought I had it, and I started speeding up. And I really wasn't happy with the final product. And that's why I kind of started acting silly on that video. For those of you who've seen it, the Danbo. Um, <clears throat> so if I start going too fast and you notice that my product is looking raggedy. Oh, I'll, I'll let you know. <laughs> let me know. So, I'm going to start to slow down a bit on these last few. Yeah. <clears throat> take, a, take a breath. Take a sip. I'm going to take a sip. You're going to take a sip. It's a Sunday. Do you want a paper towel? It's, it's water. You want more water? No, I've got plenty of water. Do you want paper towel? Uh, sure. To blot your head? Yeah. <laughs> oh, down. And left and right, 45 degrees. There we go. There we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> now I've got my Pikachu okay, ears. So you be like a, I'm going to be like the surgeon. Oh. Don't blot your own head. You can't. You're doing surgery. <laughs> oh, there we go. I'm a sweaty pig man, you guys. <laughs> I've lived with it all my life. I'm comfortable with it. He is a o -tay. See, you only have two more. Yep. See? And then on the inside row, there's only um, eight instead of 16. Yes. So. No extra holes. Nope. Not one. Small board, right? Yes. How much? How many of each color approximately? Um, hold on. We'll count for I'll you. let you know right now because I have some small boards right in front of me. So the outside is 16. Then... Row one is 16, row two is eight, row three is eight, and then he's gonna do eight in the middle. So 16, 32, and eight. And our viewership just dropped. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I cut the entire roll. You know the way I am. If I'm gonna heat seal, I'm not gonna do the ex exact amount. Hi, Brian. She's um, also not going to let me play with her toys. No. <laughs> um, I don't do the exact amount. I cut the whole roll because it's fabric mesh. It's going to need to be um, cut anyways, unless I use for, for poofs, which I don't have a project for poofs. So I've cut the entire roll. And then after this, you'll have enough left over to do a large. <clears throat> Cookie said, don't be so nervous. It will not hurt. <laughs> huh? Oh, I'm not nervous. My hands are shaking, you guys, because of the coffee. Yeah. He's... Seriously. I'm perfectly comfortable with being on the air. I did it most of my teenage years. I, I MC at the mall when we have special events. Uh, so there's our outer. Whoa. Get off. He wants to come. Actually... <clears throat> Something fell right behind me. That looks really good. Now I think about it, because you've got the summertime theme here, and then this reminds me of a picnic cloth that you would lay down in the park. We also have, if you want to do a oh, I don't grape know. hanger, this would look pretty on it. See, that's too much sunflower. No. Okay. No, I don't like it. <laughs> All right. Sorry. <laughs> Melanie. Keep getting to tell you the Vetoed. You can get right from them. Okay. 
have so more on Amazon. Ooh, Melanie, yes. I do have a question. Mm-hmm. You need to uh, cut your ties. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh crud. What did you do? I pulled out an open one. Okay. What I my question is. Uh huh. Where do I start and what color do I use? <laughs> well, this is made Barbara, for right-handed freaks. Amy, freaks. have you ever done a sunflower petal and a cut on in half and put it in the middle? Hold on. Amy, have you ever done a sunflower petal and the cut on in the half or put it in the middle? Barbara, I'm not sure. Or what that what you mean? I'm sorry. Um, Sherry, this is not uh, poly burlap, this is fabric mesh. I am Melanie, and it's your fault. I sure am. Sandra says, Well done, looking good. I can't do accents, guys. I can't be like <laughs> Danny. <laughs> Oops. Yep, that's everyone. I'm not going to do like Amy. There Careful of the petals, Danny. <coughs> Take the other stuff and put it in the trash. We're clean. Okay, <laughs> so we've moved on to row two, and I'm not quite sure what color or where to start. So I'm thinking if I start... Well, see here. Like, have... this should be a yellow. Right. Okay. That is so pretty, guys! Okay, so. So a yellow just needs to be underneath an orange. Got it, all right, <clears throat> I'm good. Oh no, Barbara, I've never done that. Have I? Have you done what? Cut it in half. Cut what in half? I think the board she's talking about. Way to go, Dan. <laughs> Hello. Thank you. That's Jeannie. It's really pretty, Esther says. Thank you. I appreciate it. Mm. I appreciate the positive vibes flowing my way. I think I would have a... I would be having a much tougher time if I didn't have some... Some love flowing at me right now. Aw, everybody's loving it. But I do feel the love. Can you feel the love tonight? Oh dear. Sorry. <laughs> I'm starting to be Dan. <laughs> but you got to do it the Elton John way. What do you mean the Elton John way? Can you feel oh, the oh, love tonight? It is where we are. Wait, wait, wait. I've got an orange. What? Oh, these are offset now. Yep. But if it's I put okay. an orange... But I'm going to put an orange over right. an orange. I am going to do... Can I have that pedal for just a minute? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, I'm just going to have Dan... Just remember, pull out the ends a little bit. So that way they become a little wider. That's why they're like a little thinner to you. That's why you were like... Oh, okay. No, you're fine. Because when you go here, it's going to be yellow. You're good. Okay, I just don't like the fact that the, uh, the orange is overlapping oh, crap, the orange. i got to put this in, because if I don't... Okay, well, it's done now. See? There you go. <laughs> okay, well... You're fine. Here's to hoping. It's a sunflower, Danny. What did you just say about flowers? Well, they're never even. There you go. All right. So, surged edges to the left and right. And I'm gonna Oh, thank you, Esther. Another, another quick dab here. <laughs> oh, so sweaty. So sweaty. Here's the thing, guys. We have a ceiling fan in oh, here. Sherry, oh, Sherry, no. I haven't done that. Hi, Michelle. Um, We have a, a ceiling fan in here, and it goes like Mach 7. Tuesday, um, Tuesday and they asked sorry. you to do this weekend. What? Cookie says, Danny, just think when... Uh, once you go back to work on Tuesday and they ask, would you do it this weekend? Oh, yeah. 
Well, at least one person from work is on this live right now. Yeah. So, at least one person will know. This is all him, guys. I'm not really doing anything. I did cut the mesh for him, but I'm just giving him tips. But this is his baby. Mesh cutting I've done before, so I can claim to... I can... That was a favor she did for me. I could have cut the mesh if I'd gotten my ass out of bed earlier. But he was sleeping. Yeah. You were rocking that table and that camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Hey, Dan. Hello. Maybe a banana or a headband? A bandana. Bandana. A... Oh. <laughs> banana. Oh, I can't. What? Amy don't read too good. make sure that I've got a little what I like to do I'm trying to make to where the last fold kind of on the outside is sort of an upward push so that I get this more open you can see the upward push here a lot um, so I get a more open pedal and th that's kind of what I've been missing on the outside so lesson learned what is that for your head, the bandana. I'm gonna look like the amazing Jonathan. It's to help you. I good wife. Okay, come here, Hobbit. Come, Hobbit. Come, my girly. Wanna say hi? Wanna say hi? Come, hop. Hi, Hobbit. Hello. This Hello. is how you learn. Absolutely, Debbie. There you go, Hobbit. Sorry, I okay. missed some comments. I was Hop. getting him a headband. <clears throat> I actually do have a headband on now. There it is. All right, just did an orange. Now I'm doing a yeller. 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 Don't you worry, folks. We're going to do this here. Yeller. You could do it like monkey and say yella. What you do is you take your here. Take your square here. Hi, Teresa. We're going to give this a 10 inch by 10 inch cut, and then we're going to scrunch it on up here. <laughs> Once we've done scrunched it all up, and you got to make sure that last one, remember, what we want to do is we want to have this sort of a upward turn towards the end so make sure that last scrunch you're pulling it kind of upwards that way you get a nice fill on your leaves there then you can turn it upwards or you can turn it downward don't really matter none I like to turn it up so there we go <laughs> it's the same way I like to do when I'm listening to Alan Jackson in my truck you don't have a truck you shut up woman nobody's talking to you anyways oh Mary did she really that's so cool what is the update from MC Fresh? MC Fresh said that her 19-year-old granddaughter just made her first sunflower wreath the other day. Well, be doggone, why don't she put on a live? She may have. Oh. And I missed it. Because I missed lives left and right. Well, well, well. If someone weren't so daggum busy watching Poirot at night, maybe she could watch some more lives. But she's got to watch herself, that little Belgian detective feller, go around saying to use them little gray cells. <laughs> For those of you who have not seen... Look Poir at Sherry's comment. Hold on. Yes, Sherry, thank you. Okay, hold on. I'm going back up. Sorry, sorry, Going sorry. back up. Cut the flower in half, I think, and then put it at the top. Hold on, my brain isn't working. Cut the flower in half, I think, and then put it on top for three petals. The petal or the flower board? Like uh, cut them in a diagonal? I did one like that when I was using fabric felt. Yes, that I did. Mary, then you should be doing lives. Uh oh. <laughs> Hi, uh oh. Laura. I smell a challenge. Could I see how you filled your board? Paula asks. Absolutely. Um, Go ahead and do it now. One sec. I think me. she's talking about the um, zip ties. Okay. So 
if you weren't here at the beginning, what I did was <clears throat> each hole, these are our two hanger Put holes. It down. These are our two hanger holes. You can tell because on the front side they're beveled. Um, row one, I just loaded each one. Very simple. Row two, I loaded each one. There's one that's missing. I think I pulled that one out just now. That's, anyway. Row two, loaded one. Row three, I loaded one. And then row four. Mary, I'm sorry. <laughs> row four, I actually did shared holes. So. Um, ah, the end of Barbara, one goes okay. into the beginning of another, and then the beginning of another goes into the end of one. It's like elephants holding their tails at the circus, right? So you've got essentially... That's a good analogy. And so essentially what you've got is eight out of what should be four petals for the middle, because you want that middle to... And yes, Barbara, Barbara, I have done that. I did it on fabric felt, and that is on my videos here on my Facebook page, or you can go to my YouTube page at Amy Rose Crafts, and it's there as well. I am not happy with some of these. They're curled inward. It's all right. It's see they're. It's a flower. They're curled towards the wall as if the f sunflower has opened up already and is going back and getting ready to see. Hi, Tank. <clears throat> so, anyway, with the board loading, I left some of them on. You're welcome, Paula. Done. So I'll start. Who is calling me? No, no, no. They're calling no, no. me. No, they're calling me. Negative. Oh. Sorry. I'm so sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Hey, Tank. Dan's doing a wreath. Tank doesn't call me Dan. So he's um, zip tying them closed. He left them open for some reason last night i did it so i could demonstrate how you can kind of keep up with a mess uh of zip yes ties. sherry she can yes 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 and it'll still come out as long as you're making sure to zip tie like you're not zip tying one to another which is easy enough to find out if you push it through um you can still come out with a good, clean zip tie job. Yes, Sherry. That would be really pretty. I wanted to do something simple with Dan because this is literally his first, well, no, this is his second wreath. He has done one when we went to the um, Christmas showcase last year. But I didn't use any technique at all. No. I so this is his first one, so I wanted something easy. But absolutely, you can do that. Yes. I just realized. He's wearing your apron. Yes, he has to advertise me. So we've got yellow. We've got yellow. This is orange. Okay. Cut your zip ties first. I'm not done with that rule. Oh, okay. Sorry. My bad. Mama ruled. Okay. Hot, fun, cold, drunk, me, nip, so fun, still rock and roll to me. Do, 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 do. What's the matter with the clothes I'm wearing? Can't you tell that your tie's too wide? Do, do. Do, do. That's it. Yeah. That's, I didn't want to. Bam, that's it, y'all. That's it, yeah. <laughs> Where have you been hanging out lately, honey? You can't dress flashy till you spend a lot of money. Everybody's talking about the new sound funny, but it's still rock and roll to me. I'm just cutting the things here, guys. I'm filling in dead air. Ah, that's sideways. <laughs> and you're almost done. You have two more uh, rows. Uh, Hi, uh, Nana. How are you? When he talks, why do you have to talk at the same time and interrupt him? That's irritating. <laughs> Sorry, Carol. Carol who? Oh, I need to go back up. I made my first sunflower on the small board, and I guess I screwed up on the zip ties. What do you mean you screwed up on the zip ties? There's no screw-ups. There's only happy accidents. 
See that, guys? Missed one. But that's in the next row, thankfully. So. Come on. What is there? I can't find the hole. <laughs> I didn't do that. Paula, what happened? Mm -hmm. How did you mess up on the zip ties? Urgh. There you go. Okay, now, once again, I'm faced with the same damn problem. Where do I start with what color? <laughs> Crapola. Just start, Danny. It really doesn't matter, huh? <laughs> Can you tell he's military and he wants everything to be exact? <laughs> Guys, this is Dan the Man from behind the camera is now on camera doing the sunflower on the small Unique in the Creek flower board. If you like the Unique in the Creek flower board, go ahead and click my pin post up top and you can save 10% off your next order. By using the code A-R-C-R-A-F-T-S. At checkout. At checkout. You get your 10% off your entire order. Mm -hmm. Hi, Connie. Connie, look, Dan's doing a, a wreath. Mm -hmm. Our parent girl needs to go out and come back in. Oh, no. I'm happy. <laughs> oh, no. Hi, Lisa. Giving us there we go. Sorry, I can't do rude when people are giving us free instructions later. What? Okay. Uh, anyway. Uh, They're having giggles while she's helping him. I here we know, go. right? Uh, yellow, Sorry, orange. Now we need yellow it. again. That's true. All right. Here we go. Oh, they're helping you. So, uh, remember, 10. We got our 10 by 10 cut. This is for new people that are in here. We're going to turn it 45. Once we've got 45, we are simply going to scrunch tip to tip. And I'm going to give you something that for those of you who have had kids anytime within the last 20 years, this is going to stick with you guys. Watch this. Watch this. Okay, I'm going to fold it upwards. Pikachu's ears. That's put what it, you want your pedal to look like. Put on the Pikachu things. ears. They can't see it. Oh. Sorry. Once you folded it upwards, you want it to look like Pikachu's ears. And Paula, that's okay if you did every other. That's fine to do every other. Yeah. If your petals are big or if you used a 21-inch yeah. um, roll of mesh. You can't mess it up, honestly. Yeah. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> Tina's like, I'm waiting for him to put two colors right next to each other. <laughs> I'm so happy, Susan. We like to have fun, you know, and Dan, I'm sure after this is going to be like, uh, oh, thank you, CD, for putting that in there. He's going to be wanting to do more. I might. I, I'm not 100% sure. Um, I really, I think I want to get comfortable with the mo most basic concepts first. But if I'm honest, it would be nice for me and Amy to kind of do some stuff together. Yeah. We just need a bigger table. I Boy, think. do we. I think we had a bigger table, then we can do a live with him and I doing maybe the same thing. That would work. Yeah. We um, do. We have a six foot table, but the room that the area that I'm in, because Ricky's on the other side, um, it's hard. Oh, Dana's on. Oh, get out. Dana, he's doing the sunflower. Get out. She calls me Tidy Bold Nan. <laughs> Elaine says you're doing great. Thank you, Elaine. You can do oh, it. Oh, is Dana. that Elaine from the UK? I think she was on yesterday. Elaine. Oh, or she's from... All of a sudden, all the comments came. Or she's from Belfast. I don't quite remember if it's Elaine. These guys have the guts to go alive. True, Paula. <laughs> you know, though, Dan is one thing. You know, people may say a lot of stuff about him, but he tries things. He really, really does. <laughs> and if he doesn't like it, then he won't do it again. But the, the fact is that he tries stuff. That's true. 
making me feel old. <laughs> oh, did they not? Wait, I think the Pikachu ear thing, maybe. <laughs> maybe threw some folks off. She said my, uh, my kids are 45 years old. You make me feel old. <laughs> I am. Um, yep, Belfast. Yep, yeah, that's that's Elaine. She said she was going to start following us. Um, she, uh, yesterday. Oh, CD, thank you. Elaine was, uh, we had a lot of uh, viewers on from the UK yesterday. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, what's the matter? Go ahead. What I'm is just it? Gonna... No, I know. I'm going to fix those. Okay. I've been watching them. Okay. You've been watching them? Yeah. And I can tell you why. They're flipping up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's right. All right. That's right. I <laughs> saw they were flipping up and I was like, don't worry, I'll take a hammer to you later. <laughs> Yo, yo, wee little bastard. You'll not make a fool out of me. Paula says, Please. thank you for your service. What service were you in? Did I say I was in the military? I said that you were in the military. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, I was in the army. I made, I started making the comment that um, you used to be in military, and I think that's where everything has to be so precise. Um. Mm. Eh. <laughs> I will say, okay, guys. Can I give you a tip? Here's the thing about military. Uh, yeah, totally. Okay. Anytime. My hobby gym is great at picking out colors for me. Right, Mary? We'll go into a store and Dan will be like, huh, I can see this on a wreath. Or I can do this. Or I can see this. What's your advice? Okay. Uh, the next time, what do you have in it? Yellow? Uh, yes. Okay. So, when you're scrunching up... Man, your scrunch is fast. Well, <laughs> I've been doing it a while. You oh, see how man. these are flat? Yeah. And when you f make them flat, I think... I told him I like to fold upwards at the end. Ah, uh, that could be why. Yeah, I told him I like that. Well, if you fold up or you fold down, it doesn't matter. You just gotta make sure... It's practice, Danny. That's all it is. Drat. Can we make another one? Drat. Oh, well. <laughs> Can't win them all, guys. Try doing it in German. I'm in tears laughing while the gardening. <laughs> oh, she, is he laying out in the garden? No, Tina is. <laughs> oh. oh, that's right. Don't you worry. No, you need to be German. Now I'm going to be the German. Do not worry. We are going to make this. This is going to be the most perfect wreath you have ever seen. I am now French! How did you go from German to French? I told you, sometimes I lose accents. Do not worry, because I can hold on to this French accent all day. <laughs> <laughs> but I can slip back into German. Sorry, all, I'm all you to have to do. the comments from when I was over there. In order to slip into a German accent is you have to sound superior to everyone else. And it's quite easy to hold on Thank to, you, Dan, so long as you keep, uh -uh. as you keep speaking like this, and as long as you are superior and nobody else could possibly match you in anything, Mary, you can keep up the German accent all day. Mary says, "Thank you, Dan. My brother-in-law is in army too. He was military police. Ah, he was, mi was military police. I was military police. Yeah. Boy, I tell you no what. No more coffee for you, Dan." <laughs> Elaine said that. <laughs> try Tex Mex. Tex Mex? Yeah, try Tex Mex. I don't know nothing about no Tex Mex, but I can do a southern accent. Like, well, what, what do we say here in Texas? Till the cows come home and we slaughter them and eat their meat because beef is what's for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know. Now, you know what I'm seeing here? What are you seeing? And I think it'll fill in later, and, and some of you he might put, be seeing this. He put one in upside down. That's why the ends are turned up. This one. Right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, I see a whole bunch. <laughs> Jeannie says you're hilarious. Sense. <laughs> Barbara, that's awesome. Well, it's not accents. It's just sense. You know what, though? That's how a flower goes. That's a flower. Well. You're fine. I'm bucking the trend, okay, of perfection in sunflowers. This sunflower is going to be au natural. Yeah. 
So it, is, there has been no modification to this. This closely mimics nature. My it, daughter is in the United States Air Force military police too. Oh yeah. That's Paula. They are not. That is actually not military police. That is SP. What's SP? Uh, that is security police. They're higher than you, than Army, right? No. Oh. They're just Air Force. They have a different specialty. There you go. You're right. I don't know. They have a different combat what mission, I like better, too. the accents or singing? And Melanie. <laughs> Mangiani Elo. Hey, I cannot do an Italian accent all the day, too. You know, what you do is you gotta take these and they look just like the spaghetti, and you take them off like this, and then you gotta make sure to put them in the exactly boiling water, and you gotta leave it all day because of these things, they are made of plastic and they don't get soft. Susan, you're absolutely right. Sunflowers face the sun, they gravitate towards the sun. And if you have a problem, and I'll teach you a trick after he is done, if you really have a problem with the petals going every which way like that, um, instead of taking them out, I'm going to show you a trick. So stay tuned. Ow! This thing just pinched my finger! Dana's like a picture Dan being military latrine cleaner. <laughs> That's for Dana. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> what row are you in? I am in row four. Last row, guys. Whoo! And it would go a lot faster, but he's teaching, he's learning at the he's same time. He's goofing around. He's goofing off. Let's see if I can do a fast. Yeah. Like there you go. But look, they're different ways. This one cups up and this one cups down. Okay. Keep it pinched in your left hand. Okay. There you go. Want to cup it down like that? Yeah. Do that. I don't know why I'm going around to the table. And do I, I don't put need it to. with the pedals up or pedals back? Pedals back. <laughs> No, pedals up. They no. just opened. Pedals down. There you go. Cups down. Cups down. Awesome bonus, right? Yeah. Another bonus. Okay. I can read between, <laughs> between the fingers. Laugh out loud. <laughs> that was for Dana. Dana and Dan have like a special relationship when it comes to things. They have a love-hate relationship. They both love each other and hate each other at the same time. No, we love to hate each other. Love to hate each other. I'm going to have to watch the whole replay. Oh, the replay, Mama. it's not super entertaining, I promise. <laughs> Under an hour. Um. Um. Okay, the cups are both facing the same way. And I'm going to place them. It, it just takes the, wait, wait, the cup it just takes Army a little longer to grasp. Oh. <laughs> oh. For the Air Force Department of Defense for 30 years oh. as a, a civilian. Ah, oh, Genie. That? Genie? Uh huh. Wow. DOD cops. We didn't mess with those guys. Oh my god, I have pinched my finger in the zip tie. Yes, it does. What did I do yesterday? I don't know. That thing pinched my finger and I was not happy. What is it? Oh, my. um... My light stand, my, uh, what do you call it? What's the light stand called? A uh, lamp? No, the, the circle light. Anyways, it goes up or, or down, and I, it fell, and it pinched between my uh, fingers. It's all plastic, and it's lightweight, but it burped. Navy all the way, Ames and Pa, and my Pa was Navy. I was the Navy. I never went to the Navy tank. I can't take orders. Hi, Tracy. Marine Corps all the way, Denise. All right. Hoorah. Marine. No hate, just love to give Dan crap. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Rose Harvey. Hi, Madonna. Look, Dan's doing a sunflower. Yeah, no, Dana and I, we just, we bust each other's, I figure the term, we bust each other's balls all the time. Yes. No, our pa was Navy. You're right. But I thought you said pa, Ames and Pa Navy. <laughs> okay, so I've got my cups. Cups go down, right? These are... Cups go down. You're fine. Okay. <laughs> they look fine. This is your first time doing it. And guys, if this is your first time viewing and you've never tried the board, Dan has... This is his first time making this sunflower. 
This is my first time making really any wreath using any sort of technique. Exactly. It is fine. The only other wreath I've ever made, I literally took My dad this. was Air Force, 22 years. 22 years. My father Debbie. was in the Air Force, too. Nice. So was my grandfather. I took a thing and I went blah, 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 blah. And then that was my, that was my technique. From my Come first... from a Navy family. Married a Navy man. Madonna. I didn't know he was Navy. All right. In the Navy. Thanks. You can sail the seven seas. In the Navy. You my can do what you please. My grandson was Army for 10 years. Military police. Hey, yeah. Yeah, that was Deanie. Uh, ask him. My daughter and son-in-law served for 26 years Air Force. Yeah. Woo -hoo! So Thank who, you to everybody was, in their service. Who was the military police? Jeannie? Yes. Ask her son, or tell, uh, Jeannie, ask your son. I'm like, you're right there. <laughs> yeah. Ask your son if he knows the unofficial military police motto. And I'm going to tell you what it is. And this Georgiana. Way, this will be retired, fun. Retired, Army, 22 years, 7 months, hubby. Uh, Hi, Rosemary. The unofficial motto. All of, anchors away. <laughs> anchors away, my boy. Anchors away. Yeah. So, uh, the unofficial motto of the United States Military Police Corps is Death Before Dismount. What, what does that mean? I don't know what that means. That means <laughs> you were in the We will die before we leave our truck. Death before dismount. Wow. You're not making us, you're not making us walk. They give us a Humvee for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> security of defense. Grandma was assistant to security defense. Madonna, that's nuts. My husband is a retired Air Force 20, 20 years. My son and daughter in law are in the Marines. Hoorah! Both of my brothers are Air Force. My dad and father in law were Army. Wow, Tracy! Yeah. That's a whole family. That's Tracy Lachance. Danny's um, stepbrother? Half brother? Is um, army and he is now a drill sergeant. Yeah, he did uh, three approximately three hundred tours in Afghanistan. Not really, but that guy loves. He loves war. He's built for it. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> if you see Danny, he is built. He is built. He's fat. His um, half brother is. Just Bit like a brick, <laughs> you know what house? You know drill sergeants. Just picture in your mind a drill sergeant. That's what he looks like. He he is as wide as he is tall. We we clogged to that song in the Washington D.C. Fourth of July parade. Oh, cool, CD. You're a clogger. I did tap. Oh, guys, I can't wait till everything somewhat goes back to normal and we can all like San Antonio. We can all like meet up and say hello. You may think you got a uh, competition here. <laughs> I know, right, Elaine? My dad's a drill instructor in oh, the Marine Corps. God. God. I am Gunnery Sergeant Hartman, your senior drill instructor. <laughs> Denise, holy cow. It's like military. I was military. Are you almost done? Yeah, I'm done. Gonna remove the things and then put it in the center. Because I am hard, you will not like me. There is no racial bigotry here. I do not look down on boop, 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 or boop. Here you are all equally worthless. If you puke, survive. Dan, your flower looks Recruit amazing. Training. Proud to see you actually working on crafts. Aw, Barbara. Say thank you, Dan. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> All right. So for those of you who were on the live yesterday, you may have seen a center that I did not like. Hold on. I'm going to show them the trick first before you put the center on. I know the trick. So if you put, before you put the center on, if you don't like... I think this is perfect. Oh, yeah, that's right. You were going to. Go ahead. No, no, you're fine. Just step over there. Okay. I think this is really pretty. It's a sunflower. It should be... Uneven. Uneven. I think that's really pretty. I'm so proud. I'm going to cry. But if you are having difficulty... Now, this is for newbies or maybe oldies. Oldies? Oldies. I don't know. 
just go ahead and twist them back. Just make them like a little, you know, turn them down. Put the Unique of the Creek large board or another flower on top and it's gonna train it to lay flat, okay? We'll tuck those under, tuck it under, tuck it under. Can you put a little weight on it like that and train it harder? You can't, why are you yelling in my ear? Because I like to do it. Okay, you're moving the camera. Oh, sorry, well I want him to think it's an earthquake because Stop. I punched the ground so hard. So that's the trick. See, right now you can see that it kind of flattened it already. I don't like that. I like what you did. I'm okay, pulling it back. it back. I'm fluffing yours up a little. I love that. I love it too. So that's the trick, guys. That's the trick, I guess. Oh. Okay, so now we got to get our center. So I'm just going to do a very simple boop. Just a blooper dupe. Oh, that's what we're going to call that. Too small. It covers all of the zip ties. Okay. I don't know. Can That's you, the center this, you want? Look. Look and make sure it's in frame. Dad Gummit, you're the director. Direct. Yes, it's in frame. Okay. Everybody's laughing. Hold on. All right. You and Dan tomorrow, my fit set. What? No. Amy and oh. Dan tomorrow is my 52nd wedding anniversary. Is there an anniversary song? Um. We've stopped doing birthdays. We need to get back to that. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy, 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 so happy, right. happy, happy. I don't know. Okay. So that's, here's the floral pin. Sorry, you guys. And um, this has already been cut down for me by Amy to make sure that it will not go through here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do one thing to do here. Take this here pin. And I'm going to push it through. Now, this is a little different than what Amy does. Amy puts down a glob of glue first. I'm going to put down a glob of glue second. Mm -hmm. No. You need and to and what I mean by I'm going to put down a glob of glue second is I'm going to go ahead and pull this out right now. <laughs> and I'm just going to set this off to the side. I'm going to grab my glue gun. Don't I'm, burn yourself. I'm going to put a glob of glue. <laughs> Too much glue. Hey, it's a glob of glue. Okay. Oh, I'm so worried you're gonna burn yourself. I'm putting this back over here. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna put it right here, okay? You're gonna put it right in the middle. Then I'm gonna take this here floral pen, just like this. Get ready to burn the piss out no, of no, myself. No, no, Pinch it with the pliers up top. Why am I gonna do that? So that we can push it down. Okay, I was ready to burn my hands like some gabagool. Pinch it now. Just push it down. Uh, I won't go down. I do suck you, at this. Do you have it in the glue? It's in the glue. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> oh my god! Ah. <laughs> oh, oh, are you okay? Stop shaking your table. Oh my gosh. That's the center he wants to use, Sherry. I'm gonna let him use that center. Ow. We can't see. Oh, they couldn't see. My 31st birthday, the 31st is my birthday. <gasps> Sherry, I'll have to be on on the 31st. I wish you a happy birthday. Happy early birthday, though. <laughs> Everybody's going, <gasps> it's hot, right, Cookie? Oh. You didn't need that much glue, honey. That really hurt a lot. Fix your camera, I can't see it. They couldn't see anything that you just did. Oh, you missed me burning myself? So I... I put more glue, so I did glue, and then I pushed that in, and then I dipped my thumb in the hot glue. <laughs> Make then, sure you dip your hot thumb. Now he's one of us, guys. And uh, now what? I, <sighs> exactly, Barbara. That's what I said yesterday. We have no fingerprints. I really hurt. I know. Are you all right? Do you want some ice? Oh, okay. I don't, don't want to do a wreath again. No, oh, stop. I don't like it. It hurt me. I said it was hot. Yes, I did. Wait, let it cool down just a little bit more. Don't okay. touch it anymore. Okay. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to wait for it to cool. And then while we wait for it to cool, we're going to, um, we're going to do the hand jive. 
We go together like Pour bleach on it. It really works. Was that Dana? Esther said that. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> did you hear that, guys? Like, oh, okay. Let me see that. Can you see this? Wow, she's got glue coming all over the place here. Yeah, I think you're good. You, sure? you know how to put the... I'm yeah. going to guess. Oh, no. What? Hold on. It's not ready. No, it's not. No, it's you not. You put a lot. A lot. Of glue in here. Of glue in here. She just gave me the look and it's my life. <laughs> so this is um, an example of what not to do. Uh, it, as you can see, this glue is super wet still. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove some of it. Don't leave it alone. Dana said that you could avoid it if you had worn the toilet bowl gloves. Don't be messing with my zip ties, Danny. Just leave it alone. There's nothing you can do at this point in time. This thing's already covered in glue. Okay. Hi, Sherry. Just like a small child. You tell them, don't touch anything, and go ahead and touch it. That's right. Try this last name. Oh. Vicky Van Osdal. Vicky Van Osdal. Okay. What's so hard about that? I don't know. I think she was trying to tell you. Oh. You aren't a crafter unless you get burned. Amen, Debbie. Well, I'm a crafter. Yeah, Susan, I don't have those finger protectors because I'm so used to getting burned that it's like... So, all right, guys. We're going to get going on this center. So, as you can see... There are holes directly through it. How am I in frame? Stop looking at me and look at the frame. You're in frame. I can okay. see you. Can you see through these holes, guys? Those are the holes I'm going to use to do my zip ties. And this sounds a little bit drunk right your, now. Your it's pipe stirring, cleaner. It's stirring a little bit. And instead of zip tie, I mean, I'm going to put, I'm going to put a pipe, <laughs> I'm going to put pipe cleaner in there. It's going to be okay. You're going to like it a lot. So here we go. <laughs> what he just said, guys. Here we go. We're going we're gonna to take it, and you see it's got a zip tie. Okay, we're going to put a zip tie. We're going we're to put the zip. Um, mm. Danny. I'm going to put. You shut up. You shut up. I am doing this. I'm going to put a zip tie. In the I can't see. I look at the light. And then I put it in. I don't the know why he's acting like that. Because I slurred one word. And I was just like, ah, I'm just going to go Everybody's with it. Everybody's like, now you're a true crafter. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, Holy cow, you got that in there like real quick. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Don't be vulgar. I'm not being vulgar. Hand me that other stack, will you? Oh, yeah. There you go. And all I'm doing is I fed the zip ties through these holes. And I am simply Ooh. giving it. A good twisty McTwist twist. You're fine. You're going to break the thing. Yeah, I know. I'm going to break it. So um, then I'm going to take my clippy clips. Your clippy clips? I'll take my clippy clips. No, nope, too short. Too short. Too short. No, 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 no. Just like that. Because you have to run it back through the hole. Nope. Okay. This is Dan's thing. Dan's doing it. No need. Trust me. Cold aloe. Yes, we have aloe. God. <laughs> This is mess. going. This is going through my hanger hole, I guess. <laughs> so for the um, the hanger ribbon, uh, they're going to go in our two empty holes up at the top here. Mm -hmm. So we can use ribbon. We can use jute. I think I want to use jute. If I can, I don't know if I can fit this through the hole though. No, but we have smaller. Let's see if we've got some smaller jute. I just saw it. There it is. You're going to have to double it. Now in French, um, they call this. Jute. Jute. So, um, there you go. Pulling out leaves. Putting any leaves on it? Oh. Ooh, I didn't cut any leaves. But sunflowers do be having leaves. 
I'm gonna cut some leaves. Okay. We'll continue doing what you're doing. Okay. So, I reckon this should hang at about six inches, so I'm gonna cut my line at 12 inches. It's gonna be right here. I'm gonna have to do two of them. Actually, nope, that's not gonna work. Crap, never mind. Don't you do it? No, I'll just figure this part out as I go. Okay. So, I'm gonna take her. You're gonna I'm, take her? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take her. I'm gonna feed her on through here. And then I'm gonna feed it on through the other hanger hole. He's gonna put some leaves on it. Hey, just had to pop off for a little bit. Love it. We'll watch the replay later, guys. Bye, Sandra Easterby. Bye, Sandra. And I think that's about as high as I want it to be. Oh, bye, Susan. Thank you so much for joining. All right, now I'm gonna cut that. Boop. Hi, uh, monkey. Boop. There we go. And boop. Now I'm going to spit in a shoe. Aww. How would you do to learn to tie a knot? I'm tying a square knot. Okay. How did I miss this? <laughs> I don't know, monkey. It was on Amy's announcements. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's our hanger. Ba 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 boom. So we're gonna go ahead and do us up. What do you think, guys? Who's left? You have 73 people watching. Do we want one or two leaves? I can do one leaf on each side. I can do two leaves on one side. So, thumbs up for two leaves. Oh, Pam, you're very welcome. She if says, you... great job, Dan. Thanks for all the laughs. <laughs> you're welcome. I'm happy to provide them. <laughs> um, so, thumbs up for two leaves. Hearts for one leaf. Let's see how that works out. We're going democratic Vanilla here. on the burn helps. The stinging blister. Ooh, vanilla. We have vanilla. Well, it sure does sting, so I'm willing to try anything. Yeah. Hey, I'm a poet and I didn't know it. What's up? <laughs> Good job, Dan. Good job. Looking amazing. Three leaves. Three leaves? What do I look like, a crafter? I want three leaves, <sighs> Monkey says. Well. <laughs> monkey say, monkey get, I guess. <laughs> So what I'm going to do here then is, first of all, clean up this edge. Where's the zhuzhur? Where's, there it is. All right. I don't know what Amy decided to do here, but this looks awful. And I'm going to go ahead and try and straighten this mess out. Now, he is not heat sealing this, so it will fray on the leaves. But I think that's fine. Oh, i got to push the blade forward. There we go. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we're going to cut us some 10 by 10. And I'm not going to make it perfect because who cares? Their leaves, they're supposed to be uneven. Stay over there. Jerk. All right. There we go. Here's going to be 10. Touch your arm. <laughs> oh, my thumb hurts really bad. All right. Here's going to be 10. And lastly... Ten. All right, there we go. This will be my first time not only making my own wreath, but also modifying it like in the middle. Hi, I haven't even taught him how to do the leaves, guys. All right, so. You need to cut that little part right there. Don't do that. Danny. I'll get it. I'll get it in a second, guys. There we go. All right, so leaves. Let me think. Oh, she's so mad at me right now for what I just did. Just gnawed it off like a rat. Okay. So, let me think how we're going to do the leaves. I'm with my family. Can't stay long. Good job, Jan. Oh, Jan. Thank you so much for joining, though. Thank you, Jan Cook. Monkey for the win, right? Okay. It's the same pedal. That's what I'm thinking. Is this, It's going to be the same pedal? Uh -huh. Okay, first... You're gonna need. Let me just see what that looks like. You're going to need your clips. Yep. Calm down. I, I think I got an idea. I got an idea. Clip here in the middle. Keep that scrunched. Okay. 
All right, so I've got that scrunched. Don't want that like that. I mean, this does look like a leaf Stop to me. shaking the table. You this... are moving the camera. Sorry, you guys. Yeah. This does look like a leaf to me. I don't understand why we couldn't use exactly the same technique as we used before, unless we wanted to twist it. No, you use the very same technique as you used before. Okay. And they want to see the tattoo. Somebody, Sherry says she has Oh, four. okay. Let them get through with this, and then I'll show you the tattoo. I'll just, I'll make this first. <laughs> it just seems weird to do the, the petals and the leaves using the same technique. I'm going to make the leaves a little dirtier, I think. Dirtier? What are you talking about? Like more uneven. I'm, I'm not even going to worry about, so I'll do the surged edges. Well, they should be cut at 11 to 12 inches, so that way they stick up from the flower. Well, I have an idea about that. Okay. Um, Which in fact, works as long as it's not third degree. It's something about the oils, the pain reliever. I have a small glass of bottle. Oh, we'll have to try that, Esther. Here's, here we go. I got it. Here's my idea. Okay, this is how I'm going to do this. I'm going to make these leaves super uneven. Like that. Same technique. But I'm doing it instead of point to point. I did it kind of point to the middle. And how are you going to put them in the board? Uh, using zip ties. The same technique as I did before. And they're actually are putting it way leaves. over there and nobody can see. Yeah. Oh, sorry. So I'm going to... It's going to be like this. So you're going to have a new leaf and an old leaf. Right? So... But you're going to have to put it upside down. Right. So calm down. We'll get there. <laughs> so for this one, I'm going to redo it. I'm going to open it back up. And this is how I'm going to end up making... The big leaf and the small leaf. I'm still going to do the surged edges on each side. You need to do it face down. Right. The curled edge down. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to full start scrunching. But instead of scrunching point to point, I'm scrunching over here. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to pull the point in. Okay. Once I get to the edge. And when you pull the point in, you and get the see. one big leaf and the one new leaf. <laughs> <laughs> and now that I've got my one new leaf and my one big leaf, I'm going to pinch it. So there we go. So we've got our papa leaf and our baby leaf. And Put papa it on leaf. the board so that way they can see. Okay. They couldn't see with you holding it up. Okay. So. Where's your zip ties? My zip ties are here. And so... You have to put it down. Huh? Flip it upside down. Okay. Well, that's not a big enough pop of leaf. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's going to be like that. Can they see this? Okay, hold on. I have to figure out what you're doing. Because you're going to have to put it in one of these holes back here. Yeah. So... <gasps> You're going to have to put two and a one. We always do that. We put two into one. So you're going to have to put one of these to match it. So, Or you can put all three into the hole. Okay, we'll do all three. Okay. So are you want it up here or down there? He's never done it before, guys. That's why I'm helping him. I want it three quarters. Or not three quarters, but uh, I want it at um, basically 2.30 on the clock. Okay. So, sorry guys. So what you're going to do is you're going to put the zip tie through one of them. You don't have to do it through two. All right, right. Okay. Now this is going to, you're not going to be able to see it because Dan needs to see what he's doing. But all he's going to do is put his pedal. Oh, you need to fix that one. He's going to be putting his pedals into the zip tie. Oh, jeez. I can't do it with this thing on. He's going to zip tie it in like this, okay? But he needs to see it. So sorry, guys. He's trying to put pedals on for you. I jacked that one up for you. I'll fix it. I jacked it up, so I'll fix it for you. I'll fix it. I'll fix okay, it. Okay, so all three of them are going to go in this, the zip tie? Right. But you're doing it. You have to 
take this and flip it. Like that. So when you're taking your leaves, mm -hmm. easiest way is to put them in one another. Take that clip off. Well, those are that one's directly in the middle. That's fine. Because you want a center. Okay. So we're making a bunch, like a big bunch of leaves. Big bunch. Because you cut them at 10 inches. Mm-hmm. And you're going to take it, and you don't want to put it here. You mm -hmm. want to put it underneath. So you're going to take it and just start it. I'll start it for you. Okay. Now you're going to, when you flip Shove it, it over. Shove it underneath there. Yep. Okay. And then tie it down. And then snip it off. Woohoo! Don't like those words. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I had to help. I had to help. No, no, what? There we go. Okay, so we've got our leaves, and I actually think that I really like the technique of doing the uneven petal. That is, you go, you start at one corner, you start your scrunch, but your scrunch is off at an angle, and then once you get to the other flat side, then you pull your corner in and you get one big side and one small side. Right, Cherry. And so you can have a daddy leaf and a little baby leaf, and I think that could be my signature leaf. There you go. I think somebody's done it already. Oh, boo. Hi, Matthew. You didn't, did you pull it tight? I pulled it tight like a tiger. Okay. So ideally, when you're doing leaves, you do not want to cut them at 10 inches. I let Dan do what he wanted to do, but you don't cut them normally at 10 inches. You want to cut them a little bit longer to either 11 or 12 inches. Drunken leaf. <laughs> Not, not drunken leaf. So you're going to cut them a little bit longer so that way they will stick out. These stick out you know, a little bit. But anyways, um, I'm going to call that good. Put the camera back on me. Okay, well. I'm going to hang it up. I'll do it. All right, guys. I'm going to put the camera up in three, two, one. There you are. Ooh, you were sweating through that. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I get hot. There you go, guys. The center is a little small, but that's the center he wanted to use. So this is his creation, and I think he did a fabulous job. Am I in frame? Mm-hmm. Mary, I did it. Yes, you did do it, and it looks really good. I did it, guys. So, for those of you, oh, wow. Yeah, Sandra, it, you're going to need bigger, you're going to cut them to either 11 or 12 inches, so that way you will see the leaves. We'll fix yeah, them. The leaves are, yeah, you can, they're, oh, they're Everybody's up saying here. good job, looks beautiful, beautiful, very nice, Dan. Love it. So, for you guys, uh, and I'm going to be completely 100% candid with you guys. Why are you trying to cut the mesh with a pole cutter here? <laughs> Don't worry about it. We'll fix it in post. Um, I hear a lot on the lives, or I read all of your comments, and I see so many of you saying, oh, there's no way I could do this. I'm too scared to do this. Um, some of you don't want to do it on a live, and I get it. He needs to be a beer now. That's true. What's that? <laughs> Cookie's like, he needs a beer now. <laughs> <laughs> no, but honestly, I, I had a great time doing this, and uh, I'm going to be- For reals? I did. I had a, good, had a great time. Okay. And I was super happy to have all of you with me. Thank you for coming on this journey with me. Uh, this first step, I think, in my journey. Um, Leaf baby. And you guys. Great job. Everybody's saying great job. Awesome job. <laughs> Thank Beautiful. You. So for those of you who are too scared to start, start. Do you know how long Amy taught me to do this one pedal? I'm not joking. I can count the number of minutes on one hand. It was three minutes. I timed it. She showed me this one pedal. I spent about 15 minutes loading the board. Last night. And yeah, that was mm -hmm. done last night. And you know, I only halfway did that. And then this live is That's right, baby however steps. long it is. And we goofed around. We had some fun. We killed time. I went slow. 
because it's my first time. I like it. It looks like a real sunflower. And I how like... long? And how long was this? How long was this like? Uh, hour and thirty minutes. Hour, hour and a half. Hour and a half. Imagine if we weren't goofing around like we were. Anybody can do this, guys. Make your own creation, you know? Or start off and make creations that everybody else has done. And then that'll start you down the road to actually designing exactly. your own creations. So, Does anybody have any questions for Dan? Oh, I'll try to answer them. I don't know much, but, um, you know, uh, if somebody wants to buy this, we're going to spruce it up some. <gasps> Should I, we do an auction? I guess we'll do, we'll sell it. We'll ask people if they want to do an auction right now. Sure. Do you want to auction it off right now? Oh, I think I'd rather list it on Etsy after we spruce it up, because I want them to be able to see what it looks like when we're done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, unless they really, really want to do an auction. You gave me the finger twice, laugh out loud. Gotta say, this was fun. Did Dan burn his, burn his mesh? No, he burned his thumb, Marla. He burned his thumb on the hot glue for the center. Thanks, CD. What's the next one you're going to be? Uh, what's the next one going to be? Wow, the next one. I'm kind of being put on the spot here. Do How a much, giveaway. Do we have a blue and a black? Do we have blue and black? Um, what do we have a lot of that we need to get rid of? We'll have to see. Well, are you going to do this or are you going to do like another? No, I want to try another technique. I definitely want to start learning the different techniques. You know, the kerfuffles and the... All that other stuff. But I, I want to do a themed wreath for sure. I don't think I want to do another flower or like a tree. Oh, someone said do it as a giveaway. Like our 4,000 viewers, our 4,000 followers, we can do it as a giveaway. Well, sure. We can do it as a giveaway. What am I doing that? I'd like to make money off of it, though. I think she means heat seal. <laughs> the uh, petals are heat sealed. The, the leaves that you the can leaves see. are not because he wasn't. I didn't even think about leaves. I wasn't gonna go that far with him because this is his first one. Um, but then somebody asks and he's like, "Sure," and I'm like, "Okay." So those will be taken off. We're gonna heat seal them. Um, Dan's gonna cut them a little bit longer and then we'll put them in. Yeah. So no, I heat seal them. This is for testing purposes only. But he has heat sealed before, so he knows how to do it. Yeah. But Amy really likes Elaine to Elaine wants it. Elaine, in I the want UK? It. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, okay. Elaine, PM us. <laughs> PM us, yeah. PM Amy. Love it, love it, love it, everybody says. Great. Um, I'm in I really like it. It's like a sunflower. It's... So, I, I mean, I'm taking a look at this, guys, and I'm really proud. And this is how proud I actually am. Be because I'm looking at this, and I'm thinking, my ish is bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. My ish is bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. What? What? All right. Few times I've been around that track, so it's not just gonna happen like that. Because I ain't no hollaback girl. That was terrifying, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm very impressed. Bravo, Dan. <laughs> One more round of applause to all the hearts. You should be proud of yourself, Elaine says. Yes, I'm. he's proud of himself. I'm proud of him. It looks, it looks like a flower. It looks like a sunflower. All right. And if he can do it, you can do it. So do it. Let's sight do it. You should. Do it. Right, do it. You should be proud of yourself. Well, I just did the dance, so yeah, right? I'm definitely proud of myself. <laughs> All right, so uh, with that said, we'll talk to you guys next time. And so one, two, three, With four. a ruffle. So, so long, long, farewell. I'll be the saying adieu, adieu, adieu to you and you and you. Dun, 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 dun. Bye, Bye, guys. Everybody. Thank you so much for joining and supporting Dan. I really appreciate it and look for him in the future. Bye.